Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this Monday. Thank you, um, O oh Lord, that you've seen it fit for us to see this 28th day of September. And we give you thanks, we give you glory, we give you honor. Thank you, O oh Lord, um, even as we begin this show, as we begin the brand new week, we ask for your spirit to go ahead of us. Would you guide us, lead us, O oh God? Would you take charge of all of our thoughts, all the different circumstances that we're coming into this week worried about? We surrender them at the foot of Calvary. And we ask that you would even use our pastor this morning as we go through Samson and Delilah. May our hearts be open to your word this morning and may you teach us um, that we may follow in your word and live in your light all the days of our lives. For it's in Jesus' name we pray and the church said, Amen. All right, great. Well, with that said, uh, let's take a look at our scripture for the day. Today, of course, we are going to once again be looking at Samson and Delilah. And our scripture for the day is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. And it says this, May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. I'll read that one more time. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So our pastor in studio this morning, once again, we have with us Pastor Fred Alex Oyola from uh, Nairobi Chapel, Embakasi. <laughs> I like how you never get tired of it. Nah, man. Not until <laughs> Jesus comes. That's the job you gave. Amen. <laughs> Great to have you. And you. Um, today we're looking at two characters. We might focus on, on Samson a yes. bit later on. But mm. uh, Delilah was clearly a huge part of, of... I don't even think she was in his life that long. Yeah. But she became a huge a part of huge his story. Part, and let yeah. me tell you something. The people that you allow into your life... <laughs> Be very careful. Maybe they could have been five. there for five minutes. Yes. But 2,000 years later, we're yes. going to be talking about the mistakes you made together. Exactly. Very important. Very, very true, important. Very true. Kick us off then with kind of um, where we can begin as we look at these two. Um, thank you so much again for inviting me. Um, Samson and Delilah, as usual, is a story that uh, even uh, uh, when you hear it, just, it just points out to craziness. Yeah. Like what happened there. <laughs> That's a judge... Uh, that God ordained, yeah. and uh, a lady that was just uh, mm -hmm. almost like a clandage. Mm -hmm. But it, it begins obviously with the mom's story in uh, Judges for, uh, 13. Mm -hmm. And I love how it begins because it says the mom was barren. Mm. So Samson was the promise of God. Mm. And then the story just unfolds very beautifully uh, where we get to hear from uh, the dad. The dad does not, I, I don't know why God chose to speak to the mom and tell how about Samson, <laughs> yeah. just like Jesus yes. um, with Mary. And then uh, the dad, for some reason, does not believe. The angel has to come back again to mm. confirm to him. Mm. And then uh, Samson eventually comes in. But even before Samson comes in, um, there's a scenario there with the angel and the, the parents mm -hmm. where the dad is like, so who are you? And when the Bible talks about this was the angel of the Lord, who actually tells Manoah that imagine... Uh, you can't even find out my name. I mm -hmm. am wonderful. Oh. It honestly points to Isaiah, where mm -hmm. when Christ tells us, uh, when Isaiah tells us that his name shall be, then wonderful. he lists them, counselor, mm -hmm. wonderful. So we see Jesus actually in the story of Samson, and wow. I love that. Wow. And so it unfolds. In um, the next chapter, it begins in just craziness, where yeah. Samson is like, there's this chick I've seen, <laughs> and I have to marry this chick. <laughs> the parents are like, ah, ah. Dude, you can't. This chick is, is a Philistine. You're yeah. a Jew. Yeah. You're an Israelite. That is against God's laws. He goes, no, we have to do it. Mm. He gets married to her eventually. They continue on. And then at the, at the, at the kafis, the kabash, the wedding, um, some craziness comes in. He, sent, he gives off a, 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 a thing, mm. um, something for the, uh, the Philistines to find out. Yes. Uh, and then he asks them, what does this mean? Mm -hmm. And the Philistines are like, uh -uh, uh, we don't know. That's the first time we see Samson playing with this lady where the lady's like, please, just tell me. Yeah. Because they spoke to the wife. Right. And then eventually, um, he tells the wife who goes and tells the Philistines. Uh -huh. And we see a picture almost 
very similar to Delilah's letter because we are very familiar with Delilah's story. Right. But it began there with the wife from Timna, a place wow. in Philistine. Mm. And so we continue there. We see him killing a lion on the way to the wedding. Mm -hmm. We see him taking honey. We continue seeing him in, even in chapter 15 where he kills 3,000 of the Philistines with a jawbone. Yeah. And he's just doing crazy things. Yeah. But at the end of his story, like we all know, this guy dies with the Philistines, mm. blind, mm. and so it's an amazing story. It sh it surely <laughs> is. Story. It surely is, and mm. maybe we can just begin to touch on, I guess, some of his strengths. And mm. I, I, I think, of course, one of them you've mentioned is yes. just, I, I guess, it was really a miracle even for him to be here, you yeah, know, at exactly. least for his family. Yes, yes. And just to say that. Uh, great things can come out of such great mm -hmm. struggle. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an important reminder for all of us every single day, just yes, to keep yes. reminding you that, mm -hmm. you know, God is never late. Like, don't nah. ever let time <laughs> yes, make you lose yes. sight of God's promises. Mm -hmm. Or that even if you're someone who's been born into that sort of situation where mm -hmm. there was a lot of hopelessness, mm -hmm. that doesn't have to be the end of the miracle. No, like, no, God no. can still use you exactly. tremendously. Yeah. But I don't know what else stands out about him yes. for you. And I love the way um, it is God who chose him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like many in scripture, God comes and chooses him even before he's born. And so that's an accomplishment, especially in his life. And I'm, I'm sure the parents would look at him as a baby and be like, hey, sh, boss, mm -hmm. you know, you're one of those guys. <laughs> yeah, our, our, our nation is going through. Yes. But God chose you. Yeah. Um, and in his choosing, it's amazing the way you say that um, the mom was barren. And yet he came. Yeah. God just provided in that situation. Right. But I also love the fact that um, he was strong. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> this dude, guy was no joke. Dude was a. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know. No I don't know. They look like Schwarzenegger, but <laughs> he was really strong. Yeah. And I don't. I don't think there's many in scripture that we see that have his gift, especially um, in the Old Testament, even yeah. in the New. Yeah. And so this guy, like, for him to even kill three hundred men. Three thousand. Three thousand. Sorry. Yeah. By with himself. a jawbone. I was like, Ooh. and that's pretty exciting mm. because I feel like sometimes we have this image yes. of believers being these very meek and feeble yeah, people, like, like we'll blow yes. and then we fall over. <laughs> <laughs> we always the Bibles in a Kadash. Yeah. Oh. It's really nice to know that God also sees us that way. Exactly. And that he can allow us to be these strong yes. warriors. Exactly. That it's not just, you know, a spiritual thing. Of course, mm -hmm. that should be the most important. <laughs> exactly. Be a spiritual warrior first. Yes, yes, yes. But that um, God can actually give us strength and cause us to to shine mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. men, before exactly. the greats. Exactly. Like to actually be looked up to as, mm -hmm. wow, you need to a man aquarium. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then um, also one of the things that I love about him he, is um, the fact that he, he really fought for the Israelites. Mm -hmm. He helped them. Mm -hmm. The Israelite nation was at a very difficult time in their life where the Philistines were just against them every corner of the way. Yeah. And so for him to come in and just every once in a while you see him almost telling the Israelites, say, hey, God is still a, is still present, mm. he's still alive, he's still there. Mm -hmm. And so please, just um, look at how he's destroying these guys. Mm. And something else, finally, mm -hmm. um, on his life, is the fact that um, he was a Nazarite all through his life. Mm. You know, if you read the story about the Nazarites, and especially how it comes forth in Numbers chapter 6, mm. it was for a season. Mm -hmm. For you to be a Nazarite, it was vows that you chose to to undertake for a season. Don't cut your hair, don't right. drink wine, and then don't touch anything dead under the carcass. Mm. But this guy's life, like very few in scripture, the likes of Elijah, if you remember Paul Kidogo in his life, he chose the Nazarite vow. Yeah. And um, Samuel as well. Yeah. Like his whole life, he just chose to be, um, and God chose that for him. Yeah. But even in, in himself, that was something that you could recognize with him. He was right. a Nazarite right. all through his life. Absolutely. Mm. Fantastic. Mm. Well, I'm excited for us to um, come back in a few moments and take uh, a break. As we, Or actually, maybe I can just begin. Let's mm. look at Delilah for a little bit be just yes. before we go on the break. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like how you're chuckling. Yeah, What's come man. to your mind? <laughs> Yeah, What's come to your mind? I've never talked about Delilah as, uh -huh. as a character just like that. I know. So I'm like, ooh. I know. The ladies are like... <laughs> We are waiting. Yeah, you're waiting. <laughs> no, obviously she was a beautiful woman. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. For some I, I think for me, one of the biggest things, because I, I, I like to, to really consider women and influence. Mm. And to me, Delilah is a prime example that your influence could either be positive yes. or negative. Yes. It's up to you to choose which choose, side of the fence you're going to be sitting yes, on. Yes. So, 
you know, ladies, be beautiful and look great and everything. Exactly. But to see and appear breaking destinies <laughs> of people, <laughs> I think that's all we can say for Delilah. Exactly, Sadly. Man. Sadly. That's all we have to say about she, Delilah. She was hot, but ooh, wee, she messed the <laughs> hot dude Hot but up. trouble. Hot but trouble. <laughs> hot to handle, man. <laughs> It was a mess. Oh my goodness, it was a mess. <laughs> yes. Anyway, when we come back, maybe yes. we can dive now into okay. lessons that we can draw um, from Samson mm. and Delilah. Yes. And uh, remember, triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. You can also comment on social media on Facebook at Switch TV Kenya and on Instagram at Switch TV KE. And we'll be back with Pastor Fred Alex Oyola after this. All right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Pastor Fred Alex Oyola from Nairobi Chapel, Embakasi. And uh, we're going through uh, Bible characters today, Samson and Delilah. On Facebook there, we've actually asked you what comes to mind when you think about them. Let me just sample a few of your comments here. Uh, Laughter's Wato says, good morning, Joyce. I'm tuned in from Limuru. The story reminds me that I've got to keep my promise to the Lord and be obedient. Oh, I like that. And you say it also reminds me that not all friends are true friends, as Delilah was not a true friend of Samson. Very true, very true. And there's so many lessons you can draw, I think, from that comment alone. True friends, for example, will not lead you cause you to <laughs> sin outside of your purpose like just that yeah. is <laughs> if that's what's happening in your life you need to reassess mm -hmm. um my ties job kabiru says tuned in from karatina really enjoying to see you healthy <laughs> thank you i think thank you i am very healthy i'm grateful to god for it <laughs> and you're tuned in till the end asante sana <laughs> Aleki Blessed Mbuthia says that anointing mixed with wayward women is explosive. Mm. Like petrol, it finishes you completely. Oh mm. my. Davy Melly says, uh, tuned in from Eldoret, and what comes to mind is that obedience is the best teacher. Mm. Wow. Thank you for that. I also have Cecily Walucho watching from Gilgil, Dominic Nyabuto from Kisi County, Dorcas Warigia from Nakuru, Munika Samuel Wafula from Bungoma, Jeremy Kipto, good morning to you as well. Sharon Mainandonga, thank you for the compliments and you're watching in from Juja. Beide Asli, you're watching in from Machakos, Asante Sana, Mary Nyoike as well. Asante Sana to all of you guys. Remember, triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line as well. Someone here says, good morning, Joyce and Pastor Ayola. It's Dalphine from where? As for the story about Samson and Delilah, it teaches me that even one minute of destruction can make you lose focus in your life. Uh, and like Delilah was a distraction to Samson and that destroyed his life completely. Mm. If you are careful of your distractions, because they could destroy you completely. Yeah. I like that. Um, and you say, always ask yourself, how are you influencing the society? Yeah. Are you a positive or negative influencer? Yeah. Thank you for that. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. But with that said, yeah. let's now dive in and look at yeah. um, some of the actual lessons that we can yeah. pull from their lives. Okay. One of the things I like about um, the story of Samson, especially even before he gets to Delilah, um, is we see him very lustful. Mm. He's a guy who looks at a hot chick and is gone immediately. <laughs> the first yeah. chick he laid eyes on, he wanted to marry. Right. The next prostitute he saw, he slept with. Yeah. And then Delilah and yeah. shacked up with her. So yeah. I was like, ooh, this guy. Mm. But then you also see him very short-tempered. Mm -hmm. He is very short-tempered to the point um, he acts very quickly. At the point when the riddle was not... Um, when his wife told the Philistines about the riddle, mm. he got so angry that he went out straight into saying stuff like, uh, these guys, today I'm going to nanny, right. went and killed 30 people. Dear, yeah, it was in God's will, mm. but he acted so quickly, mm. which at the base of all of that is a lack of patience mm. as a gift from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so we need to really be careful, especially when we are not patient enough, mm. because it either manifests in lust, ama short tempered yeah, yeah. For the longest time I always thought short tempered guys, maybe that's the anger of the Lord. Which <laughs> some <laughs> That's the anger of the Lord. <laughs> but I was like, Ay, there's a, a there's a patience. there's a limit, yeah. Yeah, because short tempered guys are guys who want things quickly. Mm. 
Mm. They are not guys who at ya willing to maybe take a chill pill kidogo. Mm -hmm. And God does not like guys who get angry quickly because yeah. it says we are not in control of our spirits. And so impatience is something that we really need to watch. Yeah, mm. and th that obviously that applies to everybody, male, female, exactly. big, tall, strong, short. Mm -hmm. But I also think there's something that you're saying there that's reminding me that sometimes I think we take our physical attributes, our physical accomplishments mm. and we try and use them to justify all yes. of our other behavior yes. so for this guy you know he's big just because he's handsome doesn't mean you should be sleeping around with everybody exactly. just because you're strong doesn't mean that you should mm -hmm. be a bully to everybody mm -hmm. so i think sometimes we kind of we mess up and we manipulate the gifts that God has given us or mm. the attributes that God has given us. Yeah, exactly. And we try and use them as excuses and mm. we say things like, but that's just the way I am. No, 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 Yeah. Yeah. So um, another one is, I think somebody alluded to it on mm -hmm. your on, on the text and they said, um, we need to be careful who our friends are. Mm. I take it to the level four. We need to be careful not to align with guys who are not in the same belief systems that we have. Mm -hmm. What the Bible calls, don't be unequally yoked. Right. Yeah. And especially when it comes to dude and chick manenos, boyfriend, girlfriend, mm -hmm. husband, wife. God is very clear in the book of Corinthians, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, when he talks about, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Yeah. Because as we see in Samson's case, um, this was a chosen man of God, a mm. judge, full of the spirit, every once in a while, not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes in and picks a lady who God told the nation of Israel, oh, Chana. Yeah. Out of that, Maze, the, the destruction in his life, somebody I think said it, mm -hmm. was just immense. Mm. This guy committed sin after sin. Because if you realize, God told this guy as a Nazarite, mm. don't shave your head. That's one. Mm. We see what happened to mm -hmm. him. Don't drink wine and mm. this fermented stuff. I was joking the other day in the stories of kombucha and stuff. <laughs> 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 fermented stuff. And then don't touch dead people and yeah. dead carcasses. Yeah. When he killed the 3,000, a little mere, a dead carcass. Right. When he went for feasting and Jew wedding party of a lady you know, even supposed to marry, yeah. what he was, was he doing? Drinking. Yeah, so he broke all the laws. Wow. But probably because uh, the people here he attached with, after he attached to the lady who was a Philistine, mm. he ended up feasting for seven days. Mm -hmm. After he attached to Delilah, you <laughs> after, <laughs> after he overreacted and his Jew was all crazy saying, these people have to be killed. India, it was in God's law. Yeah. But he broke all of God's law. So yeah. when we attach to the wrong people, and he said it as well, mm. uh, as we go. Yeah. So it's it, it's it's bad. It's yeah. really crazy. Mm. And the thing is that 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 applies at all stages of life. <laughs> yes. I feel like you can't say that that's something you're over. You mm. know what I mean? <laughs> at every different point of life, mm. it matters. Yeah. You go from bullies in the childhood uh, playground <laughs> exactly. to, you know, high school influences, mm -hmm. college uh, partners and mm -hmm. sexual ties and all of that sort yes. of thing yes. to maybe you're in business and now you're, you're in the league of corruptions and gender <laughs> and that sort of thing. But yes. depending on who you are associating with it mm. actually does matter and it follows you mm. across you know every stage of your life so mm -hmm. something to definitely yes. be mindful of yes yeah and yes. I, and i like that you've brought up the scripture that talks about um being mm. unequally, unequally yes. yoked because mm. i think many of us also try to make excuses mm -hmm. for that sure you can be in love but mm. you just <laughs> there's just going to be consequences that you exactly you pay for and it's samson true. is a clear example exactly something else is um um, just like I said last time I was here, one of the things I love about God is even in the midst of our sin mm. and our craziness, you still see his mercy. Mm -hmm. You still see his provision. Mm. The provision starts with the mom. And I think for some reason this guy, pride got into him so much that he forgot that he was a child that came out of um, a barrenness of the mom. Mm. And so that was such a great privilege. God provided, and I think that's how you started mm -hmm. talking about He's never late. Mm. He comes in, and especially for these stories, Papa, sometimes I'm a mm. um, uni prosperity preacher. Mm. Um, God provided to the barren woman. Mm -hmm. So for, for those who are barren among us, maybe listening, mm. um, it, God still hears. Mm. He will choose mm. at times to um, give you the baby, like in this case he gave. Right. And we see also in Samson's life, when immediately after he kills the 3,000, God comes in and um, when Samson asks for water and he's thirsty, which I find very weird. This guy has just killed 3,000 people. 
how is he thirsty? As in, like, is what? <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. But oh, God gee. still comes through. Nikama yeah. namkumbusha, dude, you know, even as much as I'm using you, please mm. always remember that you're a human being. Mm. That you live right here on earth. Auja, you're not God. Mm -hmm. So you get thirsty. And so he gives him water yes. in a miraculous way. And so even as guys who are used by God, we need to always remember yeah. that uh, th that's all we are. We are men used by God yeah. and not the other way around. Mm -hmm. Now we are to mini gods, like to mm -hmm. demigods. Like now we, we, we can command things and right. it's true, but in a, in a, we need to remember not to get prideful with it. Because Absolutely. the more you get prideful with it, because at some point you can tell Samson is a bit like, yeah. I'm that guy. I'm like, the king of the jungle. King of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> King of the jungle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, something else? Yes. Something else that I, I, I see and love, but it's very scary, is the wages of sin is death. Yeah. This guy, in as much as you're chosen, and this, this, this is a place I get really scared. Yes. Because God, God tells us that we are guys who um, he judges harsher. Mm. Some kizungu over there that mm -hmm. maybe he's off, maybe he's... Um, and so in, 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 in Samson's life, we see him consistently breaking the Nazarite law. Mm -hmm. But then with God, one of the things that I always remind even a congregation in Arub Chapel and Bakas, eh, that, 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 that was a nice plug. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <It's right. laughs> um, is the masses of God, yeah. one day, and believers don't like to hear this, Yes, they come, they'll come to an end. See, mm -hmm. the masses are new every morning. Mm -hmm. Great is thy faithfulness. Mm -hmm. But one day, yeah. they, they'll come to an end. Like we see in his life. Mm. The wages of all the sins of his life resulted in him being blind. Yeah. He was bound. Lost his strength. Lost his strength. And he died yeah. in darkness. Imagine. Yeah. I think it just points to hell, Kidogo, mm. place of utter darkness, anguish, agony, pain. And so we need to really be careful, even as those who God has put place something in our lives. Yeah. Um, I know th they talk about we're once saved, always saved, mm. but let's be careful, especially in our sin sins, not mm. our sinful nature, because that Christ took care, took care of on the cross. Mm. But those things that are not pleasing to him. Yeah. Yeah, because... The Bible is very clear when it tells us the old man was gone mm. and a new man has come in. And so we need to shun everything that our old man reveled in and begin to very consistently be in the place where God is saying, come on, he left, it's left. Mm. If it's stopping to do the right, uh, things on the right, just stop. Just let's follow this narrow road. Samson yeah. didn't yeah. and he ended up dying. And so it's, wow. it's crazy. Very powerful mm. that... Mm. Yeah, this, despite, and it's so sad considering mm, mm. it took such a miracle for him to even be here in the first place. Exactly. So to then lose life, mm. um, you know, because of actions. And as we always say here, actions have consequences. And always. those consequences will determine the circumstances of your life. Yes. Um, very sad to mm. see that that mm. was actually exactly. his, his ending, mm. really. So mm. uh, be very careful, guys, with... Mm. with uh, how you carry yourself, you don't know, pride <laughs> or deciding that now you're equal with God because you've, you, you've had all these great successes Exploits, out uh, there. Yes, <laughs> very important exactly. to always keep our... And that's mm. uh, maybe why the scripture talks about working out our salvation with fear and, and trembling. trembling. Exactly. And I love how you said it's not about our sinful nature because the cross took care of that. Yes, yes. But every day, that's why Paul said we die daily. Daily. You have to every make that single. consistent, yes. you know, constant... Mm. Um, humil humble cry unto exactly. God to yes. really just guide us mm. in life. Yeah, one, very, one, very important. One more. Um, th there's something I've seen in Samson's life, and uh, it's this thing about it's not about how you begin, mm. but how you end yes. that actually matters. Yeah. Um, there's a book that's written that's called Finishing Strong. Mm -hmm. This guy finished weak, man. Mm. He finished blind. And so I think it ties on to the verse that I was talking about where. God's desire for us is we be sanctified. Mm. The process of sanctification is very painful. Yeah. It is a process where God is almost trying to work on you, preparing you for his mm -hmm. glory. Mm -hmm. But then the problem with that knee, because it is such a difficult work, sometimes it can be those ones for imagine me, I'm tired of this. Mm -hmm. This chick just looks nice. I mean, I have Cons needs. consequences, but <laughs> 
consequences, but that uh -huh. God is love. <laughs> Here As we it, go. And so it is about, like you said, dying daily, but finishing well. Most of us did not, did not start well. Yeah. yeah. I started a heathen. As mm. in, that's, that's a character story for another day. <laughs> Most of us. Yeah. Even like some guys were listening now, like, hmm, do I start? But yeah. I'm, just, I'm just on the club. And I'm just, okay, yeah, yeah. club. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't matter how you start. Mm. It doesn't matter whether you got born again at four I'm at 40. Yeah. At the end of the day, it is how you journey with the Lord. Absolutely. And especially how you finish. Yeah. Samson began well. This was a promised child. All the accolades. Imagine, imagine the kids when they were playing at, hey, dude, but we had an angel visited your mom. Mm. The others are like, I don't even know what an angel looks like. Yeah. 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 He started so well. But then how he finished, Maze, his story. We only remember Samson and, like you said, the lion. Yes. We don't so remember... Sad. Like with David is unfortunate. We remember Bathsheba. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, he was a man after the heart of God. Yeah. But how you finish is so very true. important. So and true. And so with everything that we do, and especially in our walk with the Lord, let's remember it's not in how we start, mm. but how we finish. And God desi desires for us the sanctification. Just like Samson, he desires that even though our, our uh, in your to see Noah, mm. but there must be a public show. Mm. Because the hair was just a public show of right. just the walk with the, with the Lord, the Nazarite vow. Yeah. What are your vows? The things that you have decided to do. Mm. Um, the Bible talks about it this way. It says, "Are you a light that is under the bed? Am I any light to Nezaon? Mm -hmm. it, there must be a public show. Mm. We can't attach ourselves to to, to dead stuff, deadly, mm -hmm. um, deathly things, things mm. that we know. E e ni kifo. Mm. Like for example, like somebody, I think somebody said there. When I'm a man of God, I'm a priest, I'm a somebody who's born again and attaches themselves. Mm -hmm. with this crazy chick, I'm a crazy dude who you just know is destruction. Mm. Stuff like that. And so yeah. we must finish well. Wow. Hey, that is a deep point. Mm. Finishing well. We must. We must. Good grief. Mm. So we should stop saying, we should stop ringing at you. I've been a Christian since 1986. Uh, Are you years. a Christian now? Yes. <laughs> Remember the guy on the cross? <laughs> yeah. He finished well. Yes, yes. A thief, imagine. He was being crucified for wrongdoing. And finished. But finished well with exactly. Christ. Amazing. Mm. Thief Amazing. all your life, but but Imani, she sasa. Yeah. Ati, ati, <laughs> ati wait till your deathbed. No. Uh, There's uh, also a scripture that says, well saying. done, good and faithful. Faithful. <laughs> yes. Hey, we have God just upper. knows our minds. He just what? knows. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, let me read some messages yes, here before yes. I ask you to pray. Mm. Good morning, Joyce and Percy. My week has started well and I'm blessed by the word. I've learned that we shouldn't just tell anyone our secrets. Okay, that's Flora from Thogoto. Mm. Um, Wenda, Wilfred watching from Meru, thank you very much. Um, okay, and Vero from Homa Bay says, The story of Samson and Delilah teaches me that not all friends are good. Like Delilah mm. was not good to Samson. Oh, yeah, poor Samson. Yeah, yeah. Kila mtu anarkumbuka tu Delilah. Yeah, man. Ah, Beauty is not everything. You messed up a brother. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please pray for us? Yes, yes. Let's pray, guys. Father, we thank you. We thank you for today. We thank you for the opportunity to share in your word. We thank you, Jehovah, that you're reminding us ever so strongly that there's a call of our lives. And we are to um, walk in it with a lot of fear and a lot of trembling. Mm. Jehovah, remind us that your spirit is inside of us and will allow us to do exploits. But that is not the reason for us to be full of pride and to forget you. Mm. You are reminding us today to always walk in communion with you because that is the main thing. It is not about the things that you allow us to do in your name. It is about walking in communion with you. Help us in these difficult times to walk in communion with you. And help mm. us, Jehovah, even as we've seen in the life of Samson, to not only start well, but to finish well. It is not about how we start, mm. but how we finish. So this uh, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus um, through the spirit of the almighty God that lives inside of us to help us to finish well. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. Thank Amen. you as always for coming by. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure to have you in Asante, studio breaking Asante. down the word for us. Asante. And I uh, remember, of course, you can catch up with uh, Pastor Fred and uh, Nairobi Chapel. Yes, mm -hmm. Nairobi Chapel and uh, Nairobi Chapel and Bakasi on social media, um, mm -hmm. on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. We are in the conversations about reopening right now. We okay. are one of the few churches left to do that. 
we're actually meeting with our bishop on uh, Tuesday uh, Friday. Okay. So we'll know and then we'll let our guys know to Great. Kama tunaenda kanisani. Great. Yeah. Asante sana. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to take a break now as we get ready for our next segment. And uh, as I did mention earlier, coming up next, we're going to talk about childhood body shaming and the dangers that manifest later on in life as a result of it. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. And I'll be back after this.